planning cue. And, and sometimes a part of the plan and part of leadership, sometimes the best decisions or the best actions that you can take as a leader is to not do anything or to at least spend some time where you're sort of gathering information information, putting together a plan, avoiding making certain mistakes. A, a great leader probably does not, frankly, Tim, make several children uh, outside of wedlock. That, that, that's not something that a leader would typically do because a leader knows that that's going to compromise other facets of what he can do with his life financially. Uh, legally, uh, you can say even morally or religiously, whatever you choose to personally uh, believe or adapt as your own fate or whatever. When you compromise yourself in the way that you have, frankly, you make it more difficult for you to be an effective leader. And that's why that maybe explains why you don't really understand what, what Roger has been aptly communicating here because you made some mistakes that have made it more difficult, frankly, for you to be an effective leader. Not intended to be a disrespect to you, it's just an acknowledgement of what you presented and the pitfalls and the hazards that come with that. Yeah, bro brother, at the end of the day, I'm talking to you out of love and so are, so are the other gentlemen. We just trying to be helpful to you at the end of the day, but you don't wanna necessarily take it as help which is your right. You don't have to take it as help if you don't if you just don't want to. But see, you you said in this comment, you made the point that I was losing. I'm in both my kids' life. How am I losing? We get along well, no trash in my name, no alienation, no nothing. We good over here. Now, I never said you were losing. I don't believe I, I use those words at all that you were losing. But you you what you have bought into the guy narcissist's message is what I definitely said. I know I said that you bought into their message. I didn't say that you're losing. This has happened to other men before. Any man can overcome a situation. You can overcome the fact that you have, you know, kids by two different women that ain't your wife. That's something for you to overcome. It doesn't mean that you just gonna have to be stuck in a certain position your whole life. So I, I wasn't saying you were losing. I said I even said that it's happened to some of the best of us at the end of the day. But at some point in time, you got to make a correction. Yeah. But if you hear that as you losing, I think that's more of what you heard versus more of what I said. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. I'm not saying that you are, I'm not saying that you a loser, brother. What I'm saying is you can make some decisions that would be better for you. They'll be they will have better outcomes for you and you need to start doing it. But you know what? I can I can even accept that I'm seeing you losing. Why? Because yeah, you could have did better, brother. It is what it is. So you know what? I will I would say this. I wouldn't call having two kids by two different women out of wedlock winning. So if I gotta pick one, I am gonna go with losing. That that you don't know, sound like winning to me. You know, Roger, one of the things I learned from was um, when I was in um, high school, I was in, on the debate team and the, the teacher, she was a white woman. She schooled me in something that I didn't even realize I was doing. And I was I was not participating in a debate standing up there, but I was in, giving my input on the side. And I say this is that, brother, if you want to be a leader and a man, uh, Roger extended an invitation for you to come on the panel and, and really just have a discussion with us. This going back and forth on the chat is a very, as my teacher said, it's a very passive aggressive thing. So it, it, um, it's a very female kind of thing is what yeah. women will typically do. Yeah. Well, let's see. My thing is, uh, once I explain where the link is, I already knew, <laughs> I kind of knew what his decision was at that point because I told him where it was. And the thing is, some people want to believe that we just want to attack them because it, it's more comfortable for them to believe that than start to accept some of the realizations of what's going on in the actual world, which is why, you know, when him saying that, you know, I'm basically saying he's losing, well, I'm just going to keep it real. You know, I wouldn't say he's winning. I, having two, <laughs> two kids out of way like with two different women, doesn't sound like a winning move at all. And I and I'm also say this, 
You said I kept her around because she was my girlfriend. And all I'm saying to you, brother, is if she, if you determined she wasn't good enough to be your wife, that was a mistake. You should have stopped. You should have. You should have got rid of. Any woman who ain't great enough to be your wife needs to be cut off. That's all it is, brother, at the end of the day, because it's your life and you don't owe it to her to have kids by her and to have some type of connection with her that you can't get rid of. You don't owe that to no random woman and anybody who ain't your wife equals random woman. You don't owe that to random woman, brother. Now, if you had your wife's child, well, if your wife had your child, sure, I can understand. There's men who who've married a woman that have turned on them. But at least it was their wife. I get it. But why give a woman who, who's not even willing to be your wife that type of access to you? That's not a good move. It's not a winning move. So, I'm again, I'm not trying to say none of this to put you down. I'm saying this because it's the truth, and this is an understanding that black men need to have. And this is something you should be taught in your home. It should have came from your father that raised you. Okay? That's what should have happened. Your father that raised you in his home should have told you this stuff. So hopefully you wouldn't rebel against it and you will just simply be in a better position. And that's all it comes down to. So again, I'm not saying this to attack you, brother. I hope you come back on a regular basis at the end of the day. This is number love going out to you, brother. And even though it didn't happen for you, my thing is if you change your mindset, your children can probably get a better result. And if you just simply get your kids to a better position than you got to, as far as I'm concerned, now you're winning. But I'm going to get the mic to Truth Teller, who then came up. How you doing, Truth Teller? Hey, gentlemen. How you guys doing? You know, I wasn't going to jump on. I was just listening. But this is something, um, you know, last 10 minutes, last 15 minutes is something.